I think this is the first sports movie I've watched on my channel. I'm not the biggest sports fan by any means, but I have been known to enjoy a good sports flick from time to time. There is something inspirational about watching a team of people come together, overcome the odds, find a way to victory even though it seemed unlikely. I don't know for sure if that's what Hoosiers has to offer, but I'm really excited to find out. I want to sh give a shout out and a special thank you to Red Dwarf, one of my top tier patrons, for selecting this film as uh, the, their selection this month. So so thank you, I'm truly so grateful, and I can't wait to watch this with you and experience Hoosiers for the very first time. Alright, small town. <laughs> Definitely new in town. Indiana, 1951. All these 80s movies in high school are taking place in the 50s. So they're runners up in 1949. That might be, that's two years ago, I think. You're not the new coach. Oh, he is. Expecting somebody different? <laughs> Younger. Is an experience teaching? I'm guessing no. <laughs> Am I being interviewed here? Kinda. Straight up. You know, if everyone is as nice as you, country hospitality is going to get an awful name. What a pleasant thing to say. Wow, what an interesting dynamic right away. I don't really recognize you. It's been 20 years. Huh. Yeah, I really appreciate what you're doing. I just want to be repeating ourselves. Your slate's clean here. We got a job to do. Uh, you gotta love a clean slate sometimes. Sometimes people need that. I don't know what the history is, but I'm glad that he's able to have that. Jimmy, I want you to meet someone. This is Norman Dale, our new coach. Hi. Say hello to Chester. Hello, Chester. Say goodbye to Chester. Goodbye. Hi, Chester. They say this kid, Jimmy, uh, he wouldn't wow. play basketball after <laughs> coach died. Well, the coach was kind of like an old man to him, you know? The kid never had any family of his own to speak of. Oh, Jimmy. I have never seen a better ball player than Jimmy Chu. I'm glad you're here, Nolan. Me too. I think it's gonna work out. We gotta get Jimmy back on the It's gotta work out this time. Or that's it for good. So it's kind of like uh, Norman's last chance. Last time you coached was 12 years ago? Yes, that's right. Looks like you're gonna need a little help. Since I've been running practices the last couple of weeks, <laughs> I'll help you out till you get your feet wet. Do you believe in man-to-man -man or zone defense? <laughs> <laughs> zone defense is all we've played in the past, yeah, and right. it's the only thing that'll work this year. That's right. Why don't you let him coach the team? I already, this town is too much of a hive mind for my liking. We don't get Jimmy Chipwood back playing ball. We don't have a prayer. It's been real nice talking to you. <laughs> Very polite way of saying I'm out of here. I respect Coach Norman. Oh, I keep forgetting there are only about 50 people in this town. This hick town, you mean? I didn't say That's that. That's what you're thinking. Why is she being so assumptive? I guess you're going to want to talk about Jimmy. Why would I? I look after him. His mother's oh. sick and his father passed away and we're neighbors. You hear me? He's yes. not going to play. That's fine. Give me two. Give me two outside. Get it up there. You can't score if you don't shoot. Look, mister, these boys got to routine they're used to. You uh, throw a new coach with newfangled ideas at them, uh, might get them all confused. Wow, do you do you think they're idiots? Do you think they're not capable of growth, learning, and change? Your coaching days are over. Oh, I love him. Norm is great. I don't know why Cletus drug your tired old bones in here. He must have owed you something fierce. Seven players, that it? Six. Oh, that's <laughs> don't count. Too short, I'm not no good. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I coached college ball for 10 years, but it's been 12 years since I've blown this, so I'm gonna be learning from you just like you learned from me. I like that. Basketball is a voluntary activity. It's not a requirement. Any of you feel you don't want to be on a team, feel free to leave right now. Did you hear what I said? <clears throat> sure, I'm just curious to know when we start. We start when I say so. Okay, would you kind of let me know, because I'm kind of getting All tired right, of standing. Out. out of here. Yeah, bold. Break my heart. Come on, let's fly this chicken coop. Now we're down to five, including the kid who doesn't count. Line him up right here. About 10 feet apart. I like that Jimmy's paying attention. Having him choose to come back on his own without Coach trying to force him to probably is the best thing he could do. I like that idea. Wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> this is not funny. My bad. The five players on the floor function as one single unit. No team of mine will ever run out of speed before its opponent. There's only five players we can't afford to. That's true, you need endurance. Oh my gosh. But you'll have more than five players by the end of the movie. Probably. The 
Thanks, you guys. Practice is closed. Yeah, they need to get out of there. This son's got something to say to you. Sorry, coach, about walking out. I'd be obliged if I got myself another chance. There's still an hour of practice. Get dressed. Good job, Dad. Get some beer. Give it up. You never know what's really going on in someone else's life until you know. Jimmy, I didn't see you in class today. He has a special talent, a gift. Not the schools, not the townspeople. It's yours to do with what you choose. I don't care if you play on the team or not. I think if he works really hard, he can get an academic scholarship to Wabash College and can get out of this place. Why, do you have something against this place? For him, yes, I do. He could mm. do better. I don't like the implication that anyone who lives there can't do better. Why so unfriendly, Miss Maynard? That's the question. A man your age comes to a place like this, he's either... He's running away from something or he has nowhere else to go. What I'm doing here has nothing to do with you. That could be true, but it doesn't mean he deserves the... Just stay away from Jimmy. All this. I don't want him coaching in Hickory when he's 50. Listen, that's Jimmy's choice, fam. I would hope you would support who we are, not who we are not. Good response. These six individuals have made a choice to work, put themselves on the line 23 nights in the next four months to represent you. That kind of commitment and effort deserves and demands your respect. Hopefully he's earning her respect just a little bit. I would like to see the ice thaw. Absolutely no shots until you've passed off four times. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hold, it. Hold it up, Come on. How long is he going to go on like this? I don't know. Some when he's ready now. Four. He needed a little extra prayer, all right? Well, not a great start. No! Ah. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I knew we'd get at least one. Oh, she looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, these sideline coaches. Defense is awful. What about our offense? We can't you win unless we keep score. your mouth shut until I tell you to what hold our mic. Get out of there. What? This is embarrassing. You barging into the halftime like you have a right to be there. I mean, I can understand the frustration these sideline coaches have. I get it. But, like, let the coach coach the team. Thanks. Pass the ball! Oh. They're abandoning the plan. But he's scoring! Point for Ray. Oh. He's gonna make a point. Now, move! Gotta be a team player, Ray. I get... I get you wanna score? I want you to score. Ugh. But, like, the coach has a plan, right? Wow. Where are you going? In the game. Sit down. Oh, he's gonna play with only four players. That does feel stupid. Is that even allowed? What are you trying to do? I don't know what he's trying to do. I'm kind of with the crowd on this one, but at the same time... I kind of like it. I don't know. All of you have the weekend. Think about whether or not you want to be on this team or not. Under the following condition. What I say when it comes to this basketball team is the law. Let me help you there. Oh, appreciate it. Mother likes basketball. This is a truth in themselves. Here. No, no, it's all right. I can do it. Thank you. Mother, it's getting late. We better get going. Come on. Is she still going to be the ice queen? I believe it's time we had a talk. Sunday. Supper. Every game my brother ever played was the most important thing ever happened to his family. Mm. His mother would be able to sleep the night before. So her disdain for the game has some history to it. I could never figure out why it meant so much. Not to that extreme. I don't get it. Why'd you come back? That's what I want to know. Daddy died. Mother got sick. I had to come back. Mm. You never plan on leaving. 
Hey, Coach. You're playing Cedar Knob tomorrow. You cannot play them all the way man on man. You got to squeeze them back in the paint. Make them chuck it from the cheap seats. I have no idea what he said, but I, I my translation would be assuming change the defense. Which is going to be controversial, but sometimes the best advice comes from unlikely places, so... <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's very nasty. You can't go to the left. I know. Okay. It's tough, man. He is very drunk. That's a flagrant foul! A person is cutting out of the game. He didn't do nothing, Mom. Come on, that's Bill Billy Justin. Oh, you ain't been around these parks too long. Your players are playing like a bunch of gorillas. Who are you calling a gorilla? You, for one! Woo! Bust off. Woo! Oh! Well, this game has descended into anarchy. Call it. It's over. You all right? Well. Yeah, he is not looking good at all. And not to make it all selfish, but if he dies, there's nobody left on... Coach Norman's side. I guess the doctor says you would have to take it easy. No more basketball games for a while, huh? Wow. Mm -hmm. Would you like your own room? Man, this house is out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh, jeez. What? This is my domicile here. <laughs> yeah, sit yourself down over there by the fire and warm up. I got a proposition for you. Mm -hmm. uh, Cleo's gonna be laid up for a while. And uh, I want you to give me a hand. Assistant coach? Again, unlikely choice, but I like it. Me? <laughs> you want me? Not under the following conditions. That you, uh, Important. Uh, clean yourself up. And, yeah. Uh, it's not easy, but maybe this will be the motivation and push he needs to, to get clean, get healthy. If I, uh, Smell even a trace of liquor on your breath, you'd be finished. You're embarrassing your son. It's true. I don't need to hear that. I, I, I doubt. You do need to hear it. I'd like you to leave. I know the truth is uncomfortable and we don't always like it, but we need to hear it. But it's okay to ask him to leave, too. I hope you sit with it, though. I hope it sinks in deep. Tudor here is going to be one of our assistants. Okay. Got it? They're not gonna like this. Oh, it's handshaking. Coach, what you're doing with my dad, I'm not seeing it. Why not? Because he's a drunk, he'll do something stupid. When's the last time somebody gave him a chance? Someone gave you a chance. You don't deserve a chance. Everyone deserves a chance. Although with his son, trust has likely been betrayed too many times so we're just understanding that that ray might not be so quick to trust his, his dad in this instance petition's been issued requesting a referendum on your removal as basketball coach naturally the vote will be made at a town meeting on saturday aren't you the kind who'd rather look for a fight than run away from one what? where's that coming from Norman Dale, coach of the national champions, Ithaca Warriors, was given a lifetime suspension to be honored by all NCAA signatories for physically assaulting his own player in Ithaca's last season's wow. game. Where'd you find that article? Library, dear Luke. It's a pretty big deal. I don't think you better be there tonight. It won't be pleasant. No, it won't be pleasant, but... I was hired to teach the boys a game of basketball, and I did that to the best of my ability. I love that he's there. You may not be pleased with the results, but I am. That's all. That's what matters. It's character. I'm very proud of these boys. That's what you want to be able to say. I did what I intended to do. Wow, she's crying. I think in... She doesn't want to do it. I think it'd be a big mistake to let Coach Dale go. Wow, wow. What can I do for Jim? I got something to say. It looks like they already took the vote, though. I don't know if it'll make any change but I figure it's time for me to start playing ball. I play, coach stays, he goes, I go. That's, that's the push he needed. 
coach is uh, dismissed by a vote of 68 to 45. I think we should vote again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Call for revote. Coach stays. I love the disdain in his voice as he says, Coach stays. And just like that, we're sinking shots all over the court. But it feels good. It feels good. What is happening now? I stuck my neck out for you. Oh no. Well, you live up here in a bargain or get yourself in a hospital and dry out. You got to give me your word that you will not be kicked down to no games. Scout's on. Was he ever a scout? Because if he wasn't, I don't know if that counts. Woo! Man, these refs are always so one-sided. I mean, that was a foul, but like, they never fail to call it on red. Relax, kick me out of the game. You put me on. Well, kick me out of the game, I'm gonna start screaming like a mad fool. Well, I guess you got your reasons. You're out of here. I've done it again. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually a good idea or not. I might I might disagree with Coach a bit here. We're gonna run the pink and fence at him. Well, you're the swing man. Don't get caught watching the paint dry. <laughs> Again, uh, that is all completely gibberish to me. But let's let's watch this picket fence swing around to the to the wind. Okay. That means, I mean, that means more to him than anything else in the world ever could. His son looking at him and saying, you did good. <laughs> I love it. Sectional finals. Where's your father? He said he wanted to be alone, sir. Too much pressure. Hey, you keep in the game. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh. He's an assistant coach, it's fine. That's a technical foul. What are you talking about? You keep in the game, Everett. You understand? It'd be really, really hard to keep in the game. <laughs> what? Oh. Dang. <laughs> Once again, we've descended into anarchy. Oh, I thought we were past this part of the movie. Like, come on, guys. Crap. Look. Oh, mercy. Let's get him on his feet. Yeah, get him to the hospital. Still a tie game. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, obviously, he made it. He made it. Very interesting how they chose to approach this game. I mean, it wasn't as uh, clean and decisive as you would want. A little bit of a mixed, mixed overall experience, but they got the win. I'm worried about Shooter, man. Yeah. Tell me he's okay. How's my, my son doing? Oh, he's fine. He had eight stitches, but boy, he played his heart out. He was just... <laughs> I didn't make a lick of difference, you know that? Well, you did. I think you did. I'm so sorry, Coach. Hey, come on, let's oh, go, wow. guys. Let's go. Regional finals. Oh, my goodness. Forget about the crowds. The size of the school. Focus on the fundamentals. If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be, I don't care what the scoreboard says, at the end of the game, in yeah. my book, we're going to be winners. Great speech. <laughs> slow clap. Yeah, no one else is going to join. Oh, they are. They are. It's a real slow clap. It's a real slow clap. Okay. Stick with him. I mean, to think of chewing gum. By the end of the game, I want to know what flavor he is. All right? Weird analogy, but okay. Ooh. Really? I don't know the rules of foul, but I, that felt aggressive on the other guy's part. Wow, okay. That was a flagrant foul. Like, there's no way around that. Call it, ref. The stitches are full. Patch him up. Come on, patch him up. I can't do it. Patch him up. Are you out of your mind? We're going to win this game. Yes, sir. All right. I like the, the can-do attitude. Optimism is never a, a bad thing unless it's blind optimism, in which case, 
Is that where we're at now? I'm not sure. Be patient. Work for the good job. You got it? Let's go, guys. Come on. <laughs> God wants you on the floor. <laughs> oh, whoa! Nice fake out, friend. Haha. <laughs> Time. This is your moment. We're not going with four this time. Get into the game, son. Oh, poor guy. 19 seconds. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. That's a. You're going to call that foul correctly? <laughs> that was a little embarrassing for all of us. Sorry. <laughs> it was. Come on, team. Come on, team. Ah, uh, come on. Redemption? Ah. After Ollie makes his second shot. I love that. And you will make your second shot. Get back on defense right away. Come on, I want a redemption story for Ollie. Don't make don't don't leave me feeling bad for this kid. Lock him out. Lock him out. Yes! Go oh, low, long shot and a miss. Yes. We pulled it off. Your mother cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's got to. He's not going to the barber. Do you have to go to Deer Lick some meeting uh, taking a movie? Is he asking her on a date? Norman Dale was suspended. I, I can't really explain that. If I slow it down, sometimes I really think that I can. Stop my fist from hitting a boy's jaw. Wow. One second, everything I'd worked for, it's just all finished. That's a tough one, man. Like, punching a kid. I mean, I know he's a college kid, but still. What? I'll be honest, I didn't see this coming at all. I thought he had more in common with her mom than, than her, age-wise. What, doesn't that make more sense? I don't know. I don't know, maybe I misjudged everything. Well, she doesn't seem mad about it, so it's all good. Will you be back at Hickory next year? Oh, <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> I love that. You're conquering here, I I heard the game right there on that, that little Philco. I started balling, and they br they bring the white coats in here, and they, they put a jacket on me. Um, I was feeling so good, I didn't even mind. Not the best story, but not the worst. You doing good? The other night. No, oh, it don't matter, Dad. You're gonna get better. I love you, Dad. I love that he's supporting him. Well, I wish I could be there. I'll be thinking of you. Powerful moment. Welcome to Indianapolis. It's bigger. He's gonna prove that it's the same. What is it? 15 feet. 15 feet. That's a good move, coach. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the championship game of the Indiana State High School Basketball Tournament. I'm not nervous. You're nervous. I want to thank you for the last few months. It's been very special for me. Yeah, I mean, your coaching career was definitely, definitely done. I want to win for my dad. Let's win for coach. You got us here. Thank you. And David put his hand in the bag and took out a stone and slung it. And it struck the Philistine on the head. I kind of want to know what the speech that the other team is getting. Are they also getting a David and Goliath comparison? <laughs> They're doing pretty good so far, unfortunately, for our team. Oh, man. They're really driving it home. They make every shot. We miss every shot. What these guys are doing? This is embarrassing. And we're back in the game. Come on, come on, come on. Pull it off. 
We're gonna use you as a decoy. He's gonna take the last shot. All right, let's go. They don't seem enthusiastic about this plan. I'll make it. He might make it. Buddy, get the ball to Jimmy, top the key. I mean, look, I kind of want Jimmy to take the last shot too. It's hard to be patient with only 19 seconds, but you have to be patient. Play strategically. He did it! I think we just won state. <laughs> yes, now is the time to celebrate. <laughs> She's like, we won! Hopefully that means he'll be back next season. Interesting. Uh, They're legacy now, man. They are legacy. Five players on the floor. I love you guys. This movie was everything that I had hoped it would be, and a little extra. I suspected that a lot that the depth from the movie would come from either the coach's backstory or from the players. I didn't expect that there would be so much depth from one of the players' parents. That was a unique take on this kind of movie for me and I, I thought that was moving, tragic, it gave me something to root for and I kind of love that that storyline wasn't just a straight line from drunk father to now he's all better. You know, it was a, a little bit of a, a process and it's not necessarily wholly resolved but they gave you enough that you can kind of hope and believe that there, there might be a better future for, um, for Shooter and his son. I know I said at the beginning that Everyone deserves a second chance. I'm gonna be honest though, I mean, knowing that like the coach hit one of his players. Ooh, that's a tough one for me. If I'd known it at the beginning of the movie, I might have had a different outlook. I'm just being honest. I don't know that I would hire him to coach high school students even after 12 years. Oh, that's a tough, that's a tough, it's a tough one for me. But at the same time, 12 years is a long time. Uh, the way he acted and behaved in this film, I, I think that it was appropriate to give him a second chance. Although, ugh. Ooh, er, and I, that's a tough sell for me personally. I liked how they approached and handled Jimmy's story as well, that he took a hands-off approach. Sometimes that is the best strategy. If he had, you know, tried to pull Jimmy and force him to, to join the team, to compel him or manipulate him, you know, Jimmy never would have joined the team, but he's just let Jimmy be Jimmy. And the way Jimmy came around to make the decision was his decision. And I'm so proud uh, just of how that played out. I thought it was a very real take on the 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 potential of that plotline and storyline. I guess the only thing that I'm like, I'm not sold on the little romance story between Coach and um, the girl whose name I, I don't recall. Um, I don't know if I wrote it down. Was it Myra? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I felt like I just didn't see that coming. Um, I thought that he was a lot older than her, but maybe I misjudged her age and his age. Outside of that, I, oh, it was a good movie. It was exactly what I wanted it to be, and I'm so grateful to be able to watch this movie and share this experience with you. So thank you, Red Dwarf, for selecting this movie, and thank you for watching this film with me today, this reaction. I'm so grateful for you. I really, really appreciate it, and if you did enjoy it, you would really help my channel just by liking this video, subscribing, and if you want to support, uh, we, I also, I'm on Patreon, uh, where I have full-length reactions. I give two weeks early access to selected videos, most videos, as well as uh, a couple polls every month to help select, uh, determine what content I'm going to watch on the channel. So here's some other videos you might want to check out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.